Hello, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony, and today we're going to be studying the scripture, Matthew 7, 6. By their fruit, you will recognize them, identify them, know them. You will know them by their fruit, by their fruit. You will know them by their fruit. This is an apple. This is an orange. There's even a barcode so that the grocery store computers know that they've got an apple or an orange. The scriptures, although you can't see that it's printed there because it's rubbed off, the Holy Scriptures tell you by their fruit you will know them. As we study the concordance and the New World Dictionary can give you word meanings. You can look up the fruit meaning in the concordance in Hebrew and in Greek. Today we're going to concentrate on Hebrew 5375, Nasa. And we're not going to look at the original language that you look at in the scripture, but we're going to look at the original language that Yahuwah spoke to us in pictures by. The first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, Aleph, Nasa, fruit. The second letter, He, of fruit. And the third letter, Nun. These are picture words. In hieroglyphics, this is how God spoke to his people before written languages. If you looked at the 5375 Hebrew word, Nasa, you have Aleph, or you might have Shin, And nun. In the second version of that same word, nasa, it's spelled a little bit differently. It will read he, samek, and nun. Again, so we're going to look at all of these. We're going to first look at the Hebrew letter number one, which is Aleph. We're talking about fruit. You will know them by their fruit. Saints. Abba Father, Yahuwah himself, is the Aleph. Numerical one. Abba Father, Yahuwah. Saints, we're being taught by Yahuwah. He is our headship, our source. He's the head of the family. We're being taught by Yahuwah. We are yoked together like oxen with Yahuwah, who is the only one true Elohim. Signifying strength, power, as oxen are yoked together. If you look at the next letter in Nasa, Hebrew word 5375, you're looking at the pictorial sheen. Sheen. Number 300. 
And last but not least, noon, noon, number 50. Just as Aleph means head, Samek and Sheen have different meanings and different numerical values. Sheen is something sharp that separates and cuts. Pressing the way to the Father is compressed. Remember the narrow path. It also signifies a pair or a second one. When you think of it, think of your two front teeth cutting and tearing and separating your food so that you can eat it. Noon signifies an unstoppable motion, saints. The offspring is going to be Good or bad? Yahushua seed or Hasatan seed? You will produce the same fruit that you came from. If you're apples, you're going to produce apples. If you're oranges, you're going to produce oranges. The same in one way, but unique also. No two apples are just alike, but you know if it's an apple. Every orange is different, but you know it's an orange. Especially the navel, they have a navel. You will know them by their fruit. Saints, Yahuwah created good and evil so that you could make a choice. Remember, we're talking about a seed and unstoppable motion. That's the first letter. I'm sorry, the third letter. We have Aleph. We have Sheen. And we have Noon. And if you look at the derivative, the, the other part of 5375, it starts with He. He, the numerical value 5, and it means grace, to look upon, to behold, to pay attention to. Saints, you may have a personal revelation. It may be your epiphany. It also signifies that you've pitched your tent with Ruach HaKodesh. If you think in really spiritual terms, it's about the fifth dimension, the spirit realm of Ruach HaKodesh. And saints... And Naka, which is also 5375 in the Hebrew, starting with He. The second letter would be Samek. Samek, the numerical value of 60. It means grabbing and holding. It also signifies infinity limitlessness, endlessness, there's no beginning, there's no end. Elohim, no beginning, no end. When you think about it, it could be a thorn, something sharp, something piercing, even a shield. Elohim is our thorny, sharp, piercing shield. Not for us saints, but for whoever would attack us. So you have a good idea, saints, according to the word of God in pictures. This is the written word of God, who is Yahushua Hamashiach, Yahuwah the Father, Aleph, Abba Father. He takes us and he literally will separate us to himself. He will also... Never, ever think about that. It's a limitless, unstoppable motion. He will never stop producing after his own kind, saints. 
you are supposed to be producing fruit after your own kind. Apples produce apples. Oranges produce oranges. And saints of God, Yahushua Hamashiach, Yahuwah the Father, good seed. If not, if you're of your father Hasatan, you produce bad. If you put all these together, saints, adding the he, so that you understand you need to pay attention. Hey, pay attention. Wake up. And you will understand that you are being protected by Yahuwah himself. So let me sum all this up for you, saints. You're not going to find that in the concordance or the dictionary. Because it's in pictures. In Zephaniah 3.9, the Lord said that he would bring us a new language. An ancient language that we do not know which would be new to us. It's a pure language and he speaks to us in pictures. Let me interpret the word fruit for you according to the Holy Spirit. Ruach HaKadosh straight from the scriptures that are written, Yahushua Hamashiach, revealed to us by the Father, who is Aleph, Abba Father. You will know them by their fruits. Saints, when we submit ourselves to Yahuwah, and he becomes our source and our headship, our headship, we're at a place where he alone is teaching us since we're yoked together and each of us bearing our own burdens along with our Father together with us in our own strength and in his strength and his power, his power is shared with us. He is our head and he is our covering. He is our head and our covering. We are then separated Unto the Lord, we are completely separated, saints. We're cut away. We're separated from the world. We're cut away by the Lord. And we have to agree to that. He separates us as if, as if he cuts us off from the world. As we press into our Father, Yahuwah. We become a sharp contrast of worldliness and holiness. We become holy and we're magnified, cut off from the draw of the world, saints, because he cut us off and separated us to himself. The pleasures and attractions of this world are no longer an unstoppable motion, but they become a motion that produces fruit that remains. The seeds are sown in peace and righteousness, and the fruit is worthy of our friends, family, associates, and even, yes, our enemies desiring that fruit as they see our choices are always honorable. Saints, the way is compressed. It's tight on either side. It's narrow. But the good seeds will be squeezed through that narrow passage. The seeds from the fruit, you will know them by their fruit, the seeds are an unstoppable motion. The fruit produced is from the place of grace. The fruit produced is from the place of grace that you learn about in this word. Because we have pitched our tent, saints, with Elohim, the Lord, because we pitched our tent with Elohim, the Lord, Think about that. We live with him in his tent. We've pitched our tent with him and we've looked to the author and the finisher of our faith in the scriptures, Yahuwah. And we have a revelation 
our epiphany, our revelation, is to take heed of the grace, number five, that we walk in through the Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, keeping ourselves, our spirit man, our soul man, and our body man separated, separated for the Master's use. We are at that point, at a place of grace. And that grace abides in us as we are hedged in, saints. We are totally and completely hedged in. All around, we're protected and surrounded by a continuous, sharp, piercing hedge of protection. It's on the outside of us. Pointing outward, Samek. It is Elohim himself. And that protection, that hedge of protection, cannot be penetrated. Again, it is a never ending motion circling around our soul, spirit, and very being without beginning, without ending. There's a oneness, a perpetual, unstoppable motion of emotions producing fruit. Producing that fruit that remains. Fruit from our Father, Yahuwah. Completely unique, but at the same time, from Him and like Him, we become one with the Father, in the Father, from the Father, for our Father, producing good fruit from the only source. Saints, if you're producing peace, if you are producing peace, you are of the Father. If you're producing righteousness, you're from the Father. If you're produce, is good fruit You get the picture. You will know them by their fruit. Are they like the Father? Yahuwah, Aleph, Abba, Father? Study to show yourself approved. Have a blessed day, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony. Know them by their fruit.